name is Vincent. I'm working for Microsoft Belgium and Luxembourg uh, in the Windows marketing team. So basically what we're trying to do here is to represent the Microsoft ecosystem in a student kind of flat environment. And so what we have here for example is, uh, is the TV experience, the entertainment experience with an Xbox One connected. Now the thing is that I'm using this thing, this controller, and I'm not really a gamer. So this thing is nice for gamers, they're used to it, but since I'm more like the, the entertainment kind of geek, I prefer to use this kind of things. You're going to see that you're going to have the same functionalities in what you find on the controller, but in a more, as far as I'm concerned, uh, intuitive way. So I can actually just swipe on the screen to move stuff uh, on my Xbox. It's also on the phone, so if I actually, oops, if I actually go here and also have the remote, it's exactly the same kind of controller as the one I just had on my phone. I can keep on controlling my Xbox with the screen of my phone. So here I'm more in the setup of studying or working or being creative and so I have also pre-installed on this device um, Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint so I can basically do what a normal student would uh, would do. So you have here a lot of those uh, uh, those study books, uh, very heavy kind of stuff and you can basically concentrate all that into one device. The best part is that if you actually look at the phone that I have here, you have here as well the big office um, tie and if I open it you'll see that I also have here Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents. So everything that I have on my, on my cloud storage, on my OneDrive, that I access uh, to with my surface, I also have access to with my phone. And then you have this kind of device. This is this is a heavier PC. It's a full-fledged PC. It actually works in tablet mode. But if I just flip it around like this, I can use it actually as a laptop mode. And you have a full keyboard. And you can see that using the same account on both, I've actually synced the star screen. It's exactly the same one. Why? Because I've just logged in with the same account on both and it's installed automatically exactly the same setup, the same environment. So it's very easy for me to switch from one device to the other because everything is just in sync. So here we brought, we're more into the, the, the kitchen kind of environment. So this application is actually pre-installed on, um, on all Windows 8 at one devices. Now the, thing, the tricky thing is if, if you like baking, you probably recognize this, uh, this thing is that when you're baking, your hands are very dirty. And if your recipe is you know, on your touch screen, you need to go to the next part of your, of your recipe. So here, we've actually implemented what we call the hands free mode. So it's going to turn on the, the, the webcam um, of the device and use the webcam for me to be able to actually switch to the next step of the recipe, not touching my device. And you can see here, I can actually just wave to my, to my surface and it's going to just go to the next steps. So you can see here I have some, uh, some sports equipment, but usually what I have at home is quite limited. Um, but thanks to this application, um, I can actually just tell to the application, this is what I have as, as equipment. It can be a chair, a towel, a bench, this kind of thing, and then it's going to sort out all the exercises that I can do and tell me, okay, with this kind of material, you can do this, 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 this. But this application is not only about physical health and fitness and sports, but also about nutrition. Now the best part of it is that I have exactly the same two applications um, on, my, on my phone here. Uh, I have the food and drink application and the um, health and fitness application. And so if I find a recipe on the food and drink application of my tablet that I like, I just uh, save it to my grocery list for example, and it's going to sync automatically with the grocery list I have on my device here. Now if I go to the health and fitness application, I also have here uh, um, a sports tracker. So if I go jogging, I just take my phone because I have my music on my phone as well. So I just take my phone, I start the GPS tracker, it's going to track me while I'm jogging with the GPS information. Then when I'm done, it's going to sync that information through the internet to my surface and to my other devices as well. When I'm usually doing workout, uh, I like to have music, especially if I do that in my, uh, in my home. And so I have this little uh, JBL um, uh, speaker here and the great thing is that it's, it's using NFC technology for me to just pair my device with 
and um, uh, with the speaker you can hear the little uh, sound that's actually saying that it is working on the pairing and it's going to use the Bluetooth connection in order to play on the speaker. And it's actually, it actually has quite a good sound, so it's actually quite nice. So here you see that with, with the, the power of the cloud, the power of the internet, you're actually going to have stuff that you can do from, uh, from different places uh, in your life being your entertainment corner, being your working or creative corner, your kitchen, uh, your uh, health and fitness or your sports kind of corner. Whatever you want to do, you basically have something that you can do with the device that's actually going to help you achieving what you want to achieve. So technology is, is, is not anymore just something that you have to use, especially PCs. Most people use their PC because they have to, to be productive, to work and this kind of thing. But it's really becoming a companion that you can kind of use in every kind of situation to help you. If you're lost in the forest, use the GPS of your, of your phone to know uh, your way around in the mountains. I've already done that. It works fine. Um, for sports, for, for food, for drinks, for cocktails, for your wine list, which kind of wines you love. I also have a specific application that does that, um, where you can rate wines, or another one where you can rate beers, especially if you're in Belgium and you want to try out some different beers, you could actually use that one as, uh, as well. So, there you go. The, the, the way that technology now fits in, uh, in everyday life.